Hi, hello and welcome to this episode of Fitness Hacks brought to you by Life Fitness. So the last episode was the Bulgarian split squats. A lot of people have actually left in the comment section that it is quite a tough exercise to do. In fact, the weighted Bulgarian split squats uh, was very tough to do by certain comments. Yes, it is. But that's why it's one of the better exercises. And today is yet another exercise. I've got a, I've got a stool which I've precisely made for this exercise at home. Uh, I'm bringing you this episode from my roof garden come gym which is combined together. I'm currently doing my rehab and strength exercises to try and get uh, my fitness back. Had a small niggle so fighting my way back and obviously this exercise is a very very integral part and a very important part of any exercise routine. All physios and strength and conditioning trainers love this exercise but personally this is one exercise I actually don't quite enjoy doing. It is. It takes a massive toll uh, at the end of uh, the gym session. Usually a lot of strength and conditioning trainers give this exercise uh, towards the end of the strength session and it is very very difficult. It is. I personally think it is almost on par if it is weighted properly with the Bulgarian split squats and the name of the exercise is step ups. Uh, you can even call it the single leg step ups because that is exactly how it is. It is a unilateral exercise. You can't do it with double leg. Uh, as always with all exercises, what, how and why. So what are the different types or ways by which you can do the step ups? First I am taking the weight off and you can look at this tool. This is something I designed and obviously you do get these tools in gyms or if you can have a gym bench as well, it's great. So obviously you start with one leg, one leg up, put it on, put it on top, the entire leg placed and then use the, lat, the heel part of your legs to push from here and it will obviously activate your glutes. Your entire chain will work, your leg, everything. Basically they call about the hinge pattern, it pushes off the leg and gets into a lovely position here. As you can see, you can get into this position which is your running position. Uh, the different, what are the, I, I told you about what are the different ways, there are, there are various ways in which you do it. You get on this, completely straighten, two things you can't do, you can't be slightly bent and do this. Get nice and really tall, push from here, so obviously your glutes are working, you're using the entire leg and the leg is completely working in order to get your body into a nice uh, position of hip thrust or whatever you may want to call it. You get into a nice and upright position, a straight position, which is exactly what you desire with this exercise. Many people will not be able to completely get off with this exercise. So what they do is they go into this position, come down and go. But the ideal way to do is completely get, get off it and then do this and then off, then on again. So some people, the correct way of doing it is finishing eight reps on the same leg. For example, I will always do the right leg first and finish eight reps and then move on to the left leg. Eight on left then. Eight on left then. So, some people who start off find it very difficult. So my suggestions to them is go on one leg, come off, use the other leg and then come off. That's a good way to do it. Or if you want to do rooted, keep one leg up, do not move it down and up. And some people as they do the exercise, they get tend to get confused. They will go up, then put the leg on the stool and then try and get off. You can't do that. The other leg never really touches the stool or the bench. It goes only in this position. It's basically this. It is the running movement that gets uh, that gets better with this and you will get into strong running positions with this. And for me, precisely, uh, it is a very, very good exercise in terms of my bowling as well because this is the leg I use to push off, push off and I get into this position for bowling. So it's a great exercise for my bowling as well. Now, what are the other ways of doing it? You can obviously load it. I've got 215 kilos with me. So you can take one, put it here and then do the exercise which is one way of doing it, move the other leg or if you want to weight it more, get into this position that's the weighted way of doing it, you want to increase the weight, put a barbell and continue doing the same exercise and that's exactly how you do it. Now having talked about uh, what are the different ways of doing the exercise, weighted, unweighted, going up and down, alternate legs and also how to do the exercise is something that I said completely get straightened, you cannot hunch while you're doing the exercise and also do not place the second leg onto the bench before you go down. So these are the basic ways of what and how to do the exercise and why do, why do we do the exercise? It's very very simple, the reason why you do this exercise is to get into good running positions. If you look at the entire exercise, it's like basically running position on an elevated bench. Uh, with respect to this bench that I used or the stool that I used, you can use, start from a really low height. If you go into any gyms, you will find that there are stools at different heights. You can use a small a small stool or you can even use a, 
uh, you know, uh, the step of your house. Uh, I'll just take you there and show you uh, the other variety of how to use how to use a step in your house. So as I said, uh, the reasons to why we do this exercise are very very simple. In my case, the reason I do this exercise is to get into good strong running positions, which is part one of the problem. And obviously, with respect to my bowling, also I get into this position. So this exercise is extremely crucial in terms of uh, being strong at the crease as a bowler and also having that running pattern going. Uh, it is extremely important and it's a wonderful exercise. For people who do not have a stool or a bench in the house, this is another wonderful way of doing it. Get your staircases. I'm sure everybody, almost everybody will have access to their staircases. Uh, if you do not have a high stool and if it's too high, get into a staircase one step below. Just get into this position. Go down. Get into this position. And once you get comfortable with one, one step, you can use two steps and get into this position. This is a nice real home hack. Uh, in terms of fitness hacks brought to you by Life Fitness and uh, for, for normal people who, who are not playing cricket or any other sport or even want to do athletics or get into common work as well, it's a great exercise. It gets your glutes working, it gets your legs working, obviously it takes the load off your back and it's easily one of the best exercises, not my favourite but do try it and it is an exercise that you will largely benefit from. Thank you so much for joining me on this episode of Fitness Hacks brought to you by Life Fitness.